UPS guy just came in the um, in the mail right now. Big ass box, and I am super stoked to find out what it is. Oh fuck! Ta da! It's my red my red rally armor. Um, I've always wanted the red ones. I was tired of always the black ones. They were just too classy for me. So. We are going to try, we're going to install the front ones. Um, I, I kind of know how to do the front ones. It's not that hard. The tricky part is doing the rear. Um, the rear ones, I'm not sure if I could get access to, but we're going we're gonna to figure this out. All right, what's up, you guys? So um, I'm not getting any tire right now. just got some stuff, actually. Um, believe it or not, they got some crazy, crazy specials at Canadian Tire today. Um, so I'm basically going to be buying this. Um, I need four mats, and I'm not going to spend 100 bucks at Subaru. So these are like 30 bucks, which is really good. And I think it's like universal and stuff, so it's cool. And this one here is on special for $100. Now, the cool thing about it is that you get two jack stands, this thing you lie on to go underneath the car, a jack, a little cup, and other things like change your oil and all that. So I'm definitely going to be taking this. And um, we're, I'm going to be doing my rally armor myself with my neighbor, Jeffrey, and we're going to figure stuff out. So today is a really good day. All right, so I'm back home. I got some tools here. My neighbor, Jeffrey, is going to be helping me out. He's going to be working on his car. We're both going to be doing stuff to our car. So I'm going to do my rally armor today, obviously. Um, he lent me his drill, which is something I really high, highly recommend for everyone doing this stuff. Um, I already know how to do the front rally armor, so it's going to be easy as hell. The back, um, he actually has a tool to remove the back wheel, so it's going to be perfect. All right, so I got the first ones on the front. Nicely leveled and equaled up. And I also got this one nicely lined up and equaled up. Make sure there's no gaps, and it's perfect. So uh, now we're going to try and uh, see how we're going to do the rear as well. So. This uh, box basically came with a lot of tools, um, a lot of things. These things, I'm not sure what they'll have to figure that out. Um, it came with this little uh, red thing. This is actually going to be really helpful in the future. And when you have the little screws and bolts, you can keep these in there. Oil pan. I have this little thing where I can sit underneath the car and I got this too. So for $100, holy shit. Now I just got to figure out how to, how to like jack it up and properly glue it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and figure stuff out now. Oops. Nice. All right, so we got these bolts out. Now we're gonna actually see what the what the brakes look like, and uh, I'm gonna have to actually drill some ho one or two holes in there just so I can gain access to get the rally armor in. The first two holes are gonna be very easy and simple, and we actually have the two jacks right over here. So if it falls, basically I'm saved with these two jack stands, so I'm good. Tab on it. Yeah, bro, let's go. Yeah, bro. All right, guys, this was easier than expected. Um, it's, it's amazing. Like, I already got this part of this part of it done. Um, the only tricky part now is basically going to be. Um, I know exactly. I know what to do with these. It's not that hard. Um, you just got to find basically drill a hole and find the proper uh, frame and the proper point on how to do it and we're gonna be doing the same thing on the other side too so it's gonna be fun but yo if you guys check out the car it looks super crazy like it looks super nice and the rally armor they're, they're both straight you guys can tell they're literally both straight so this is amazing i love it oh my bad all right so we got the rally armor on <laughs> screw it in this was easy as fuck by the way like I, I i don't know what's what's up with me but i like to make things bigger than they really are but um, now we're gonna put on my window tower back on and we're gonna start on the other side too. So it's gonna be uh, really good. And I like, it makes me feel good because you know, I'm doing it myself. I'm actually learning something as well, you know? So it, it, this is amazing, I like it. Huge shout out to my boy Jeffrey, man. Thank you, bro, thank you. And by the way, guys, again, the jacks, the, all the tools here, all the tools there that I have, 100 bucks, special McKinney tire, boom. All right, so I just started this one here. Um, this is actually pretty easy. Um, I just did this by myself without my friend Jeffrey. Um, so uh, whew, it, it's, it's hard. This is actually kind of tough, but he'll be back in a few minutes and the uh, rally armor is looking great, guys. And I'm not too scared anymore to go underneath the car. I mean, this thing does hold a ton, like a ton. So I already got the uh, clips assorted. And I'll have to drill like a little hole over here somewhere there. 
and we'll get this started. And uh, you guys can see how weird the brakes are. I mean, you got the spacers here and the brake lines are right here. So uh, yeah, car is, car is good guys. Honestly, car is good. I think it's good to say that I'm officially actually a car guy. This is the first time I actually do something crazy like removing a wheel, installing rally armor, and I could also do my brakes if I wanted to, do the exhaust. So honestly, this is something new that I learned. This is really something new that I learned. And learning, doing stuff on your own, on your, working on your car on your own, you learn a lot of things. And this is how I'm beginning to learn a lot. Like, I'm really, really happy. I'm, I'm really, really happy. This is amazing. This is honestly really good. <sighs> I'm a little tired. Came with a little bench, but I didn't need it, so it's all good. And now I'm gonna bring, now I'm gonna put back the wheel on and um, figure out how to put the stuff back on. And uh, yeah, figured I'd show you guys what I did. So um, I just finished off doing my rally armor. Um, I just learned exactly with my neighbor. He he showed me how to remove the bolts and remove the t remove the wheel completely to install the rally armor, especially on the rear. Um, car looks nice, really, guys. Car looks really good. Just a regular Subaru Impreza, not a WRX. I wish I had a WRX, but uh, insurance-wise, it's expensive. Now, um, why did I go with red? Well, because I'm tired of going with black, and it looks really good. The car. Um, the only problem I have is that my bumper here is cracked. I'm not sure why, but uh, we'll have to figure that out. It's not a big deal for now. Right now, guys, I'm officially. I'm. A, it's officially that she is ready for winter. Car is officially ready for winter. So I basically have, um, you know, my exercise bars I do handstands on. Um, I always use the floor mats, the floor mats over here to um, basically go down on my knees and stuff because I don't want to dirty my pants, even though I did a good job in dirty my pants. Uh, my toolbox here, basically I have all the equipment I need. And uh, yeah, car looks great guys. All it needs now is definitely an exhaust, which will come after, but not now. Um, I've been using this thing, this little metal bar to actually remove the wheel. Um, obviously it's better with an impact gun, but the impact guns are kind of pricey, like three, four hundred dollars. So uh, that's why I'm just like doing with what I can. And my, my neighbor, Jeffrey, he was wa washing his car and stuff. And we were all, we were both working on our cars and stuff. And I told him, you know, like, this is his stuff too, which is cool. I can vacuum my car and everything. He basically is like, oh, your stuff is my stuff and my stuff is your stuff. Cause we're both car guys. So. Boom, it basically works out. Now, what I like about, some, two, there are two, now what I, what I like about it is that this car over here, the red one, I think it's straight piped. It's very, very loud. Now, I'm not gonna say um, I don't like loud cars or ricers. Um, ricers, they have their ways of making their car loud or look different. Um, it's all about the culture. It's all about the passion. You know, it, it's, I always say, it doesn't matter if your car looks ricey, looks cool, looks crazy, amazing, whatever. As long as you like your car, you like the way it is, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, oh, your car's not good, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that. Um, I'd probably do some ricer things on my Subaru. I mean, it's my car and I enjoy doing it. And um, yeah, so it's cool that, you know, I have a friend, my neighbor who actually works on his car, on his car too, which is amazing. And he, he lends me any tools that I want at any time. And uh, yeah. All right, so now what we're gonna be doing, um, I got my boy Jeffrey with me. We're gonna be doing his tires now. We're gonna be putting on his winter tires. And believe it or not, his winter tires are from a Mazda 3 and they actually, believe it or not, fit his car. So we're gonna check it out. So I definitely learned a lot today um, when it comes to doing rally armor learning how to use a jack, jack stand, removing your tires and stuff. So I learned a lot today with my friend Jeffrey. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content and I'll see you guys hopefully very soon. Peace. Oh,